Hello, hi. Welcome to Abstract My Perspective, and I am Brio Rachel. I just got back from Silver Lake's flea market. Let me just tell you, honey, pop in. But before we get into all of that, we have some business to handle, okay? Listen. I need you to subscribe, click that bell so that you know every single time I post. Also, follow me on Instagram. We can be friends. We can exchange all of the information we need to exchange, like where the best thrifts are, where the cool creatives are, all of those things. Me and you need to talk about it, okay? So, if you're good with all of that and you've handled all the business, now let's get on to this cute little video. So, let's talk about all the stuff I got. I got a lot of cute little goodies, and I'm gonna list like every store below, but I, as I said in the end, went to the flea market today Silver Lakes flea market which is only on Saturdays and it is from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. there is parking if you are in the Los Angeles area and you've ever gone to a flea if you've ever gone to literally anywhere the most romantic thing you will ever hear is it's free parking parking was pretty cool like I immediately found a spot my app got me there it was not a big deal it's really nice drive cute the pricing phenomenal okay let me tell you something Thing. I've been to multiple flea markets in multiple cities and Silver Lake is like up and coming as far as like expensive and like luxury and if you know anything about like the Rose Bowl flea or the Trading Post or Melrose flea market which can be a little bit more pricey. You'll know that like when I tell you affordable, I really do mean affordable. And what I mean by affordable is like $5, $10, $30, $40. To me that is affordable because the pieces that I got, I felt like I didn't get them from the thrift, but if I went to maybe a more expensive thrift store, this is what they would price these items as well. So I thought that they were really cool. Plus I feel like unlike a thrift store, the people that have purchased these things, they've curated everything that they have so they tend to be more pricey because they actually had to go find these pieces these pieces weren't brought to them and so when I consider that I'm like oh this was a really 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 good selection and the price it was like amazing so let's just get into what I got so I'm gonna start with some stuff that's not closed so I got some records I like records for like aesthetic reasons but this is Rick James if you don't know who it is Google is still free and then there's Prince. If you don't know who Prince is, we're not gonna talk about that. This is like a really good album. This one, I didn't even know how like fantastic this one was. I just opened it and it had like all of the teens, which is like different songs because some of these is only like two songs or one song. Happy birthdays on here, which is a bop. Like these are actually some real bops and I didn't read this because I was kind of trying not to be too in awe. Sometimes people I feel like text when they see that you're interested in something, they can kind of like make up a price. And that happens a lot at flea markets. They don't actually have a set price. They kind of decide on how they feel about you and then decide on what they're going to charge you for it. And I am not a heckler. I just don't. And so many people do, but me personally, that's just not my style. If the price is a price I don't like, I'll just walk away. And if it's something that I like, I will buy it. And that's kind of what I liked about the flea. This particular flea market is that everything was a price that I was comfortable with paying but then also it was kind of like a lot of them were underselling themselves like I felt like they could have probably upped their prices and they didn't I want to show you something else that's not clothes related so I got candles from this other brand and the brand is called the noble brand but everything will be posted below anyway so I got incense now again these are the best incense I've ever smelled in my entire life I was gonna like literally try to make you smell them but you can't smell them smell of vision needs to be a thing just saying but they're oak moss and amber but they smell heavenly like they smell so fresh like I've literally never smelled anything that is so clean in my entire life like they smell so clean I love a clean fresh smelling house and clean fresh smelling everything so that was amazing and then I got a candle that's called sea salt orchard it doesn't come with like any type of like breakdown of what's in it but it smells super good and then I got another one which is called pamper me and this one I have to smell it to really be able to tell you what it smells like okay so this one smells good <laughs> It has like a floral scent to it. Floral with a little bit of like citrus, like a citrusy smell, which are two things that I really, really like. I love the smell of real jasmine. Fresh jasmine is like one of the most beautiful scents I know. 
And then this one called Sea Salt Orchard. Honestly, I feel like it smells like the color purple. I know that that doesn't make any sense, but like lavender to me, not like the scent lavender, but like the color lavender smells like this. Don't, don't question me. I know that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, it smells really good, okay? It smells super freaking good. And then I bought a present for my brother because he loves rings, like a lot. And he's actually building a ring collection. So I got him this ring. It says his name on it but he made it on the spot and i thought that was super freaking cool and it's like not too thick it's really thin it'll go gray when he's doing his stackables and then he also put something else on the other side for him that's like a little cute little thing so he can have like two rings and he can like turn it around if he can't in fact fit it he gave me a necklace for him which is also cool because my brother does wear like the stacked silver chains and things. So this is cool that he has something that if it doesn't fit on his finger, he can do this. So seriously, this time we're really going to move into all of the clothes. Okay. So first of all, let's go through things that were like cheap. So this top was $5. A lot of people have like $10, $5 racks and then they also have other things that are different priced or whatever and I just like it because it's like a cool rainbow color it reminds me so much of the 90s I am born in 91 and then this is also very nostalgic this was from a different place it was ten dollars I literally bought this because I've been wanting a dare shirt for forever for a photo shoot and I finally have one and I actually love that it's not white I like that it's black and red but I have an idea it's actually being really rebellious against this I need to get another dare shirt because I want to have one dare shirt that I actually distress and then I want to have one that I just kind of probably just wear so this came from actually one of the first stores that I went to but this was the first one that I actually made a purchase at which was kind of crazy because I typically don't make purchases without fully seeing everything that every store has to offer so this top I absolutely love it it's so pretty it has like this really cute floral like little detail and i'm absolutely so into that like i stand for that so <laughs> i was just like oh my gosh like i need i love i have to have forever so i got that and that leads me to this top which is super soft saucy saucy yeah so this top i like absolutely love i love a good bodysuit also i found this cool jumpsuit it's purple it's lavender see the candle smells like this color Color, if that makes sense to you it doesn't but it doesn't matter it had like minor imperfections but honestly I buy a lot of stuff with imperfections because I don't care like I wear so many layers that I probably when I wear this it won't just be just the jumpsuit and a pair of shoes like if you can see now I literally have like a sweater a shirt overalls like I just really like layers and then this was the very thing that made me make a purchase and talk to her at all I don't know if you're familiar with the brand Ula Johnson but this is a very Ula thing to make it's hand crocheted but it's beautiful and it zips like sis it's a jacket honey get at my girl okay she's a jacket and she's beautiful i paid 35 for her i feel like that's a deal but when i went to the last store they were so sweet i happened to ask him hey do you guys have any robes or kimonos or anything like that and he's like we do have one and the one that he had look at how glorious this is this is gonna be amazing i hope that i can do this justice because when i saw it it literally reminded me of one of my favorite looks of my mother rihanna and something that's not the same but it's very similar in color and honestly this isn't reversible but look at the inside i don't know because I might. I might have to work it out one time because this is lush inside. I do wish it was reversible. But anyway, it was like super, super cute. And it was actually only $20. Last but never least was just hanging on a rack right there. Just hanging on a rack. And I'm hoping I can honestly fit this because it is a baby size. Like, so then that was all that I got. Thank you so much for watching my video. But basically, I just wanted to say like, this is one of the best flea market experiences I've ever had. Everything feels very clean, by the way, as far as like the clothes. Everyone is super nice. It was just a really dope vibe. So dope that I like literally came home and I was like, I have to film about it right now. Everything's fresh. Everything's right here. Everything happened. I give it a great 
massive thumbs up so thanks so much for watching this video bye thank you so much